the Limber Nature Based Solutions Demonstrator Project. Uh, we are, we're putting in a lot of interventions through the Limber catchment, which is a tributary of the River Sheaf, in order to provide flood resilience for the River Don, which the Sheaf flows into, and the communities downstream of the Don. All the while, our nature based solutions will provide uh, ecosystem and habitat benefits by creating more diverse and varied habitats like the wetland pond we can see behind us. Working with the Sheffield Rotherham Wildlife Trust and the Sheffield City Council, there have been a series of ponds in, you know, in, in installed, which is to catch uh, rainfall during high, during high weather events. Not only does this hold more water on the land to reduce flood risk, it's also part of our works with natural processes that uh, increases biodiversity and as well as reducing flood risk, it you know, provides benefit for climate resilience. This is Lady Canning's plantation. It's the top of the catchment. Uh, we've got a bit of moorland up there as well. Uh, I suppose there's an opportunity here to generate features for natural flood management that slow the flow, pick it up off the path network here, because this is really creating quite a high level of runoff. Uh, and to slow that down before it gets in the water course that's at the bottom of Lady Canning's here. This is the headwaters, if you like, of the Lynn Brook. So it's looking, this was one of the great opportunities to create some biodiversity as well at the same time in slowing the flow, both with ponds, but also on the water course itself with some of the tree uh, material we've got here in the forest. The projects for me has, has been a great partnership, uh, including all the partners, the Environment Agency, the Trust, uh, the Council. It just helps um, doing projects on a larger scale. This is more of a landscape scale. So, you know, the, the Council uh, are the landowners and then the EA have the authority with the, the water courses and then the Trust uh, are great in, in delivering the projects for us. Um, so this one, although it starts here at Lady Cannings, it goes all the way down the Lynn Valley and eventually goes into Ecclesall Woods uh, and finishes at the River Sheaf. So for me it's been uh, a great opportunity. The idea of an attenuation pond is to hold back a portion of water. Typically the water would, uh, it would land on the landscape as rain or, or snow melt and shoot down as quickly as it can into the river system. It's not just happening in one place, it's supposed to be happening all over the catchment and will cause a huge peak of flow down the river. Well, what we're attenuation pond is aiming to do is capture some of that and slowly release it back to the back into the environment, whether it's infiltrating it into the river again or, or just holding a bit of extra capacity and then having a little drain to let out the water. This instead of having one big cumulatively peak from the catchment of where all the water is going. So a leaky dam is essentially, it's what it says on the tin really, it's a dam that is leaky in normal flow uh, and leaky in high flow actually, but it helps to retain some water back. So there's several different designs. Uh, we tend to use um, sort of larger logs with bank top diverter um, that are staked into the ground, um, preferably dug in, um, but yeah, just something that essentially when the water's high will take the flow off. You'll have seen in a natural river, trees falling over the river. They're actually part of the complexity of a stream and river system. And they do provide that sort of slowing and roughening of the catchment during when the high rain falls and the river rises. So it's almost mimicking that. So there's a lot of work to do all the way down on the watercourse from here down. But there's also some work we're doing on Whirlow Fields, which is uh, almost like a retrofit suds sustainable drainage scheme. So that's a drained landscape, it's pitches for, for, for sport. And of course that's rapidly taking the runoff from that area of land into the river. So we're looking at sort of retrofitting. So coming in and actually putting in features to slow that water down, ponds, temporary ponds, swales, that will then slowly release that water into the river. So looking at areas where we can put these attenuation ponds and swales, uh, so that in the future um, it doesn't uh, compromise some of the other interests on the site such as the cycling, uh, the horse riding and also the forestry operations that we do. Now this is a, is, is a pilot and it's formed a, a way of working and looking at the effectiveness of these types of measures that actually form part of a much wider programme as we adapt to climate change and to the increasing frequency of storms that cause flood events. So there is the, um, a, a source to see programme to, to carry out this type of work 
all the way across the Don and Rother catchment to reduce the, the, the pressure for flooding in Sheffield, Rotherham and Doncaster and the other towns in, in, in the area. But also it provides habitat and in a place like this, you know, provides a, a place for, uh, for amenity value as well. And in return, you know, working with, the, uh, w with nature will uh, help, help provide more resilience and better biodiversity for, uh, for, for climate change. And this is all being brought together in a much wider plan for South Yorkshire, which is called Connected by Water, where the Environment Agency working together with Yorkshire Water, the local authorities and uh, local communities and, and, uh, and interested parties, including environmental charities and others who want to get involved to deliver a, 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 a programme to support res um, climate resilience and reducing flood risk for the whole area.